Hey guys, this is NRB, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use my Invoker Hotkey script for Dota 2. So, let's get started. First of all, you're gonna download the link in the description below, and this is virus free, so it won't pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it won't destroy your computer. So, extract it to the desktop or anywhere you want, and open it. So this is the start position for the hotkey. You can drag it, it's movable, and you can lock it. And you can unlock it. Okay, the position. And you can drag to move. Then this is the close button and toggle switch for advanced. This is for simple and this is for advanced again. And I'm gonna explain the hotkeys in the in-game later. So <clears throat> let's click the button extract and there's a note that you're gonna locate or select the Steam folder only. For example, given 432 bit systems is C program files theme, 464 is program files times 86 Steam. So click OK and let's locate. So in my case, using a 64 bit OS, so program files, ethics, and I'm gonna locate my Steam folder here. So click OK. And it is successfully extracted. And there's a note that first is enable console in the option in the in-game and press the backslash type exact invoker.cfg and click OK. So let's proceed to the in-game and I'm gonna show you the function. So here we are at the in-game and first of all you need to go to the options and make sure that your enable console is enabled and for the hotkeys the abilities is you're gonna use the legacy keys so for that let's press the backslash and type sec invoker.cfg press enter and there's an indicator that the config file is activated so let's see okay so this is the normal cast so what the normal cast means is that there is a selection of your target. So like this, the arrow. So when you, not not this green, the white. So when you press X, so when you use the skill, you're gonna invoke B. You're gonna press it twice or something. You're gonna invoke B and use the skill B. So I'm gonna press B, B, and then D. When the scale is already here, well, you're just gonna press it once. But when you, it is being, uh, when it will be invoked, you're gonna press it twice and use, invoke and use. So, for example, the case meter here, the spherical chaos meeting. Now for the. Quick cast. Let's press the home key, and the legacy quick cast is activated. So press C, X. Okay. What the quick cast means is that you don't need the selection. There's no um, X, and then you're gonna click your mouse again. The quick cast is wherever your mouse is pointed. The spell or the skill will be used in that position so for example let me give you a demonstration here x c b b b b you don't need to press or click the left mouse so that's the use of the quick cast b b then the y and z for example here I'm gonna press Z on my own. I'm gonna hover my mouse into the hero. Here, press Y, fire, and then I'm gonna press Y here. So that's the use of the quick cast. That's the combo in both. And you can use, uh, you can toggle the switch for simple to minimize and you can unlock. Drag, click and drag and lock again. So, so it is safe. There's much space to your game. Oh, by the way, I forgot. 
the use of the insert fix at key. So this is optional. If I'm well aware of you it. invoke uh, skills that aren't working, so for example, I'm going to invoke D and it will not invoke the skill of Chaos, uh, chaos Meter. Tedium. So you're just going to press insert and it will re execute the config file and it will be fixed again. Chaos Meter! I think that's it. Expected models! And I'm gonna sign out now. Mindfully.